So Operations Within Space Marine 2 are this game's co-op 3 person player versus environment mode. In this video guide I bring you today I hopefully want to teach you everything you need to know about this mode including the hidden items and much more. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and I'm the winner of my previous Ultra Edition giveaway of this game you can see on screen now. If this is you hit me up on my discord link down below. Now do you guys want to win an ultra edition version of Space Marine 2? Well it is as simple as this and by the way thanks to Focus Entertainment for supplying me with these codes. So yeah drop a like on this video make sure you are subbed and leave me a comment down below. I'll pick winners the more active I see you from the comment section of my videos and I will announce them and probably tomorrow's video or maybe Saturday's. So good luck everybody. So if you are playing or ever playing operations and you see someone just wandering off searching every corner of the map well that's probably me and well it's for good reason. Because within operations, there's more to them than just storming through enemies until you reach the end. There are actually collectible items hidden within them. There are important currencies hidden within them. And there's also guys things hidden within them that will help make the operation a little easier on the player. So within Battle Barge, where all that good stuff happens from customising your class to playing this operation free player co-op mode, as well as PvP, we won't talk about that today. The operation side of the game is where a lot of that good stuff happens which is what we will discuss today and hopefully I can teach you everything you need to know about them. So firstly, operations drop that requisition. Now requisition is this game's main in-game currency used in unlocking chapters, weapon versions, class perk tree perks and much more and requisitions drop from these operations and depending on the difficulty you play on the more you will earn upon completing said operation. Now the discovery armory data, now there's a little bit more to this, I actually first thought that these were rewarded to the player at random upon completing the operation, I was wrong, so so wrong. These are actually items hidden within these operations guys and it's for this very item alone I do search every corner of the map. Now when you are playing in an operation you are looking for a little like robot terminal thing. It's only small and they are normally hidden in random spots. And it's these guys upon you finding them which rewards you and your team this armoury data. Only one person has to pick it up and your whole team will get it at the end. And like I said depending on the difficulty you play on will determine what kind of armoury data you will get. Minimal and the average difficulties reward you the green master crafted armoury data upon you finding said little robot terminal thingy within the operation. Substantial difficulty will earn you the purple armoury data known as the RT Fisso and then ruthless difficulty will give you the yellow armoury data known as the relic. These are used to unlock different versions of your weapon upon you having enough XP. The different versions of said weapons when you purchase them for that requisition do add benefits to your weapon as you can see by these stats when you hover above them. They also give you a unique appearance too. So yes guys, search away and do not miss these discoverable armoury data. But people, it isn't just these either. There's also data slates per operation that you can find given you miss them in the campaign mission versions. But there's also guys XP boosters which people can find randomly. These again are hidden in random parts of the map. I've only found one so far but they are definitely here. Unfortunately I wasn't recording when I grabbed one but I believe upon completing the mission I got like an extra 300 XP which is decent considering I was playing on minimal and you only get 630 XP for completing the operation. A little more info on these XP boosters, they go into your discoverable item slot, the same slot where you'll get the guardian relic and this item, this XP relic needs to be held until the end of the operation and I believe all players in your team will get the said XP boost. The reason that I know this is because I accidentally swapped it out for a guardian relic and it dropped on the floor and before I had a chance to pick it back up, a random on my team grabbed it but at the end of the operation we all still got that XP boost which is cool. 
Now talking about guardian relics, uh, these are also items you can find hidden through the maps that give you the opportunity to self res. So if you go down and no one is nearby, you can revive yourself. A very, very useful item for sure when things get overly hectic. Now as I've been playing for many many days now, uh, but I'm starting to see newcomers come through, although I think in time it will be something people naturally discover, that is breaking those boxes. These are scattered throughout operations and give you massively important items to help get through these missions. Things like shields, steam med packs, ammo and much more. So definitely keep an eye out for those green boxes. People again, they're normally just hidden in random different corners, but sometimes they're just in plain sight and you shouldn't really be missing these. Another thing I'm certain people won't miss are the loadout terminals. Now it's quite obvious what these are used for, but the reason I'm including them here in this video is because most people haven't even set up loadouts on their classes yet. You can set up three loadouts people and this terminal here gives you the option to change between the three. So I thought I'd recommend it being something you do here. Another thing I will state uh, with these loadout terminals is the fact that if you select the current loadout you're using, it will refill all ammo and said weapons in hand. So that's cool too. Okay, so lastly guys, and this is something I've noticed on a couple of missions, traps. Yes, traps people. And not many people know about these, but they're actual traps guys on certain missions you can use to your advantage against the enemy. Now the demonstration I have on screen now is a pretty poor one because I used it a little late and I don't think my teammate although I was playing with randoms knew exactly what to do here but either or guys if you time these right they can be very very effective for you and your team so yes another little tip to look out for. Okay so lastly guys I want to talk about the extra XP you can earn throughout these operations. So this screen here you will see at the end of operations, it's a shame, it should show you beforehand. Uh, but what you'll see here is if you do said best in each category here, you will earn extra XP for them. We have kills, special kills, melee kills, range kills, items found, damage taken, incapacitations and teammates revived. If you do the best in any one of these said categories, you earn more XP. So yes, do keep that in mind guys, I won't be beaten on range because I always use that sniper class who is my baby at the moment. But yes guys, a few tips and tricks for operations, I mean I know a lot of people are starting to play the game now, people who pre-ordered the Ultra Edition version of the game get to play today, the 5th, which is pretty cool. Uh, release normally is the 9th of September which is a few days out, but yeah, either or guys I hope this helps some of you players that are currently playing. Out. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.